Welcome guys. I'm back y'all with another video. Mm-hmm. And I'm sipping on some tea, honey. I'm sipping on some tea. All right, so that got to be symbolic in some way, shape, or form. Like, I really didn't think about it until I pressed play. But, yeah, let's let's go ahead and get into it. Let's see what's going on with the karmic and the divine masculine. Let's see what's what. Let's see what's what, what's what, what's what, what's what. what. If, you, if this is your first time here, hi, I'm the Empress. Um, I do tarot readings, okay? So, this segment here is about the divine masculine and the karmic. The karmic is some, it could be a, a relationship with someone else. Um, it could be a business, a partnership, whatever. It's just something that is karmic, that is out of alignment, that the divine masculine could be dealing with currently while you and your counterpart aren't in. Y'all could be in a separation. Okay, so let's see what's going on. What's going on with the karmic and the masculine? What's going on between the karmic and the masculine spirit? What's going on between the karmic and the masculine? Okay, the nine of cups wanted to jump. And here's the masculine, okay? And the four of pentacles here. And the Ten of Pentacles. So it looks like she wants to hold on to masculine. For, um, it looks like she's trying to keep him in the picture. Okay, it looks like she's trying to keep up an image um, of some sort. Okay, so we're going we gonna to go ahead and stop right here. The Six of Swords. The Lovers. The five of wands, the four of wands, and the nine of wands. Lots of wands here. Could be dealing with the fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Could be dealing with the Gemini. I feel like, uh, Five of Wands here. Let's see. I feel like there is a constant battle here. I feel like there's a constant battle here. I feel like maybe they disagree a lot. I feel like they have plenty of disagreements. On this particular disagreement, someone stood their ground. I feel like it was the karmic. She stood her ground. I'm hearing, who you think you're talking to? I'm hearing it. Who you think you're talking to? There's a lot of passion here. This karmic is in head over heels over this masculine. She finds him very attractive. She, yeah, she wants the whole thing with this masculine. She wants things to go far. She wants long term with this masculine. Um, but I'm getting like there's constant bickering. She want to get further than everybody else with this masculine. So she want to go further. She wants to go beyond. Okay, she wants everything with this masculine. This masculine could be very popular, especially with this emperor and the six of wands. He could be very successful. He could be an entrepreneur. He could be his own boss. He could be something that's really grand about this man. She loves that about him. 
But at the same time, she feels like it's time for her to, oh, excuse me, it's time for her to stand her ground because it's some type of issue that keeps popping up that she wants to end. She wants something to be done and over with, but it keeps popping up. Yeah, see, she feels like he's keeping a secret from her about something ending that really hasn't ended, okay? Um, somebody's starting to change their image. Yeah, I feel like she feels like masculine is dealing with someone from the past. Why is the moon here? Masculine been giving her the run around lately. He's been giving her the run around. When she asks for something from him, he walks out. Now the four of wands back here could be that they live together or they plan on moving in together. They could be relocating or um, she wants to get married. Yeah, I'm hearing, I thought you said that was over with. I thought you said that was over. So she's questioning this masculine about someone from his past because she could tell that this masculine moving moving different. But she's saying, look, we live together, we're together. I thought you said that that was over. She feel like it's a reason why uh, he acted strange. He acted different. Every time she bring up the past, it seemed like he just he just moved it. He's just acting weird to her. He's giving, he's giving a weird vibes to her. So she's trying to find a way to block that energy. She feels like the relationship is pretty toxic. Like it's toxic. It's tough. It's hard. It's not easy being in a relationship with him. Cause it's like at any given moment, she don't know what's next. She got to step it up and she just feels like, you know, you never know what's next. Nothing is never permanent. It's not stamped. It's not permanent. It's not official official. Like it's official, but it ain't official official. So where she just feel like she could put her feet up and relax. She always feel like it's something else around the corner. She feels like there's someone waiting in the cut to try to take masculine from her. And see, this masculine over here, he's he's over here, but he's a player. Knight of Wands and Knight of Pentacles. He's a narcissist. He kind of focusing on himself. Everything is about him. This masculine here could need to get a divorce with this Ten of Wands. I'm sorry, this Ten of Swords and this Hierophant. But he's got he's got like this player type energy. But this for some this masculine may need to get a divorce, or for some this masculine is kind of like in two separate situations. And he's giving off real player vibes. Like he he's he's very uh, self absorbed. She's very tired of being frustrated. She's tired of being talked about. She's being talked about. People are gossiping, talking about her and their relationship. She may be wanting to start a business. If, if some of you have started your own business or you um, are leveling up in some way, shape, or form, and you're sharing this with a bunch of people, she feels like she can do it too. I'm hearing whatever you can do, I can do it too. Yeah, she feels like she got to change too much to be with him. And it's, it's starting to stress her out. I'm 
I'm here and I'm going to show you better than I could tell you. Yeah, she feels like she got to do too much. Eight of Pentacles, the Ten of Wands. We got the will. She feels like she has made too many changes um, in order to be with him. She feels like she, she, you know, she got to make sure she do this. Make sure it's too many. It's a lot of rules. And it's making the situation com more complicated than it already is. So she's coming up with ways to try to make sure she stays in the loop to make sure she keeps him looking good, like she's a good girlfriend, whatever, whatever. But I feel like this masculine is already like this masculine, he living too, he living a double life. That's what it looked like to me. Like he's living a double life. She's just a, a part in the play. So tell me how does this masculine feel about this karmic? How does this masculine feel about this karmic? So we got heartbroken, the clock, and soulmates. And at the bottom we got Oh, no, we got the chaser. I'm sorry. We got the chaser. We got the clock at the bottom. So he could feel like his time is running out, okay, for him being comfortable here, okay? His his time is running out with this girl with the snake. This girl with the snake is pretty like the type of woman that would do anything to please the guy who go out of their way. Very, very extremely nice, like extreme nice do things just because and these are a lot of times the type that get pushed over become end up being a doormat in a situation because they don't set the proper boundaries okay so he feels like he's hurt her in some way shape or form and he looks at her as if she's the one who's chasing him for a soulmate connection oh how does this government feel about a masculine She feels like the masculine is a snake. Oh, we got X at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so they could be going through a separation or some type of silent treatment. She could be giving masculine silent treatment. She's trying to stop some type of pattern that masculine is doing. She feels like masculine is a snake. And I feel like she's talking about she has a problem with somebody's pictures. Maybe, um, tell me more about photographs. This is nostalgia too. Yeah, the sword and the rose. Okay. So this photograph is looking at your pictures, missing you, nostalgia, making the memories. I feel like this is because she uh, she knows the truth that masculine is missing somebody from his past. He's missing somebody from his past, somebody that he used to talk to. A girl that he used to talk to. That's how it's being put. Like, tell me more about girl talk. X. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So this is somebody that maybe he cut off or broke up with in the past they ended up breaking up but she knows that masculine is reminiscing maybe she's caught him looking at looking at pictures old pictures of you um but so she feel like he a snake she feel like he is the enemy now yeah she feel like she done fell in love with a snake we got kisses she feel like she fell in love with a snake and she, I can hear her saying, you ain't getting no more money. <laughs> you ain't getting no more money until I see some improvement. And I'm watching you. Like, he a child. Mm, okay. So, yeah. That is, oh, child. That is some, oh. So, I want to see who is this masculine thinking of. Who is this masculine thinking of from his past? And this karmic knows. Is this somebody that he walked away from? Could be a Leo. 
but or um I feel like it was a disappointment. He didn't think that he had the courage to walk away from this person. Um, but it's definitely someone from the past. For a lot of y'all, I feel like it could be you guys. I feel like um, the ones who are watching this video is more than likely the Divine Feminine. So he's reminiscing. Not a source wanted to jump. So, yeah, he's in his head a lot. Okay, thinking about you. Yeah, he's wondering if you, if you still feel the same. If you still feel the same or if you're still mad. Okay. He's wondering if you're still mad. You're upset. Yeah, see, he's reminiscing about the decision that he made to walk away. He was trying, I feel like he was trying to stop himself from walking away, but I feel like he did move on. We got the Eight of Cups and the Six of Swords, so he moved on from you. He had to make that decision, okay? But now he's sitting here thinking about it with this hermit energy. He's in his hermit energy, and I see you had to stand up to him and stand your ground, okay? So, it definitely looks like this is something that he is thinking about. This is something that he's contemplating about. Tell me why the hermit is here. Could be a Virgo. Yep, six cups. So, now, see, he's he's thinking about it. He's thinking about this connection. Like, you know, it's on his mind. He want to hear from you. But he know if he reach out to you, you're going to say something about, you know, what happened. So he's kind of like avoiding, trying to avoid because I don't think he's ready to completely uh, come forward right now. Why is the nine of wands here? Yeah, he's trying to stop himself from thinking about it. He feel like it's his fault. But he does want to talk. All of his cards say talk, 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 talk. He want to give you some type of call, reach out to you, send a message of some sort. He feels like he should have waited. I'm hearing wait for, for real love. Instead, I feel like there was a breakup, but I feel like he wants to apologize to you. He realized that he should apologize, okay? He was just trying to see how, you know, how far he could, how far he could go. So he was experimenting and messed around and lost you. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? This person, look at this. The Nine of Pentacles star and the Emperor. This person know that they shine when it was with you. You look better when it, you look better. This is, he's thinking like, oh, I look better when I was with her. Yeah, this person, he thinks that it's time to apologize. He thinks that it's time to apologize. This masculine wants to break up with this karmic. We got the Queen of Wands, Three of Swords, and the Death card here. This masculine wants to break up with this karmic. He feels like she talked too much. Talk too much. She always got a problem. But the thing about it is, is and I'm going to put, I'm going to be real. I feel like there was an argument, there was a disagreement, and it, it ended. Like this masculine legit walked away. But they think about that every day, and I feel like it was it was a lot of confused. Like this masculine felt really confused on what should he do felt like the relationship um i'm hearing free free yourself i'm hearing free yourself and we'll talk about it when that time comes we'll talk about it later but right now i got something else that i want to do i have something else that i gotta work on so this masculine felt like it seems like he had the philosophy if you let it go and it come back then that's how you know okay but this masculine is getting ready to part ways with this karmic okay and i feel like they're they're wanting to reach out to you but I feel like also they want to try to find out if who you're communicating with, who you're dealing with. I'm hearing give, giving them the tea. They say, this masculine is saying give them a reason to come back and work on this connection. But they say next time it's going to be done the right way. 
it's a lot of things that need to be fixed. Ten of Wands and a Temperance. Um, but they're saying, look, it shouldn't take long. This person really feels like they have another shot with you. I'm hearing I tried to reach out. I tried to reach out to you, but I don't know if I had the right number. They think that you changed your number. I'm here and start to call you, but they know that they 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 effed up. This person was telling you what you wanted to hear at the time. They just wanted to see how you think. Like what what would be what would you do? How would you move? What would how would it go? Um, but it ended up ending, and they felt like this was in a relationship for them. So I see a tower moment, a tower moment happening because they felt like this wasn't a relationship for them. So it's like they baited you to see what you know. How would you feel if I did this, this, that, that, that? They try to get your reaction, and I feel like maybe you gave them. So they heard something from you that they didn't really want to hear, so they took it upon themselves. Like they they responded irrationally. Now they're reviewing that. They're looking over that. And I feel like they're getting ready to leave this karmic. They're getting ready to leave this karmic. All right, so y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below. I'm going to chat with y'all later.